drop so in. nice. This morning in today's kitchen, overcoming old man winter's trail of cold weather. Author of Feast, Food to Celebrate Life. Now, Jella Lawson is here to share some tried and true recipes to help us through the last leg of winter. Nigella, good morning. Good morning to you. I don't know what it's like in England, but winter is just <laughs> hanging on here in a I nasty know, way. But in, a, in a way, I know everyone's complaining about winter, but I think it's the best time for the kitchen. I think make the most of it. Chicken pot pie, keep you warm. Yeah, and, you know, my, I, I was tempted to call it comfort food, but I'm thinking yeah. all food comforts You're, me. You are so right, a man <laughs> after my own heart. So we're going to make chicken pot pie, which I haven't had in eons. So oh, tell me how we good. do this. You're going to well, make the filling here first. Yes, first, which is really like a very thick white sauce. So I've melted some butter, add some flour, and I use, this is my mother always did, you know, I think we, you, we often cook the way our mothers did, just a bit of chicken stock concentrate, okay. or you can crumble a cube. Okay. Just gives it a bit more of a savory taste. And then you just whisk in milk. A little milk, and that's going to be the base, and then, then we we'll start it. adding the chicken and the veggies. Oh, everything, yes. Okay. Not too many veggies if you're cooking for my children, I'm afraid, but yeah. I try. Well, we just did a segment of healthy cooking. So yes, you can, I know what I do. This is probably a good way I to do. sneak in the vegetables, though, isn't no, it? No, you can't. No, and it, you know, and at least it's proper food. Right. So, you know, so that sauce, you have to stir it a bit. The easy thing about this, you can cook it ahead. Just put it cool here. If you are cooking it ahead, plastic so, that. You can cook the, the sauce, sauce ahead. Okay, so it's all set. Okay. So it's all set. So chicken, and what I do, like maybe on a Friday night, roast a chicken, and then the leftovers go into a pie for the weekend. The old-fashioned way. So you put chicken, then you've got, was ham. it ham? Okay. Yes. And okay, let's just put this in. And peas. Now, despite that very beautiful display, I find it very easy to use frozen peas. Good for you. I, you know, nobody ever wants to talk about frozen foods in these segments. Good but for I, you. We can you know, use good. <laughs> so now, I, I think of a chicken pot pie as kind of like an omelet. You can uh, obviously chicken's the base, but you can yes. kind of mix and add what you, you want. You can do here, whatever right? you want. You can you can put. I often put corn in right. and uh, turkey if I've got turkey. Really anything you want, providing it's swathed in this lovely thick sauce. But in this case, what you got to get peas and ham and chicken and exactly. Of course, the sauce and sometimes I add cheese to the sauce. All right. And you're going to put it in the crust. Now, tell me about the crust. Is this your basic pie crust? Can well, you make for apple or cherry or whatever? Well, it is, but I, I call this my foolproof dough because I just think it, it always works, which is that when I make it, I, just, I measure out the flour, I cut the butter into kind of discs, like smaller than that, right. and I stick it in an uncovered tray in the deep freeze, the freezer, for 10 minutes. And that just makes, then I just mix it in a processor, add some chilled eggs, a bit more water if I need it, and it makes... Does it make it more pliable? Or very just pliable and very forgiving. If it breaks when you do it, you just stick it back down. But you're going to... You're going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... Okay, good. You see, good. it's... Okay, it's carbohydrate rich. Right. But a very good upper body workout. <laughs> you eat well and you work out your yeah, upper body. Look, do you want to go? You want me to, yeah, sure, I can. I'll move over Some things here, even yeah. I can accomplish. I find it's one, relaxing, two, three, isn't one, it? Yeah, it's kind of like the treadmill. <laughs> oh, that's a really mean thing No, to no, say. no, because I can see where it's, it's, it's upper body there. I, I love doing this, and it's great okay. kids adore it and as gotta, well. I'm sorry, I'm not working the right way. You're doing, get... yeah, look, you've, you've done it perfectly. Okay. So, do you want to cover one? I'm going to show you okay. what you do. Let's bring this here. Let me get here. rid of my thing here. Right there. Okay. That's quite a good, good for comedy value. Want to this? The pin. No, this, I'm going to use this one. You're going to use that one. one, okay. So you just dabble a teeny bit of water round here, so then you're, you're kind of turning the bit of dough into glue here so your lid will fit. Okay, okay. now lift that. Okay, it's going to come out in one piece. It is, and if it didn't, you could stick it on. Do not worry. Okay. Put it over the top. Okay. And then That's great. Just get the knife here, cut off the extra. Not that there's any such thing as extra dough, really. Mm -hmm. There we are. Pinch it round. Pinch that dude around there, and you're yes. in business, right? That's what I like to do like that. Yeah, that's nice. A nice technique it? there. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Okay, slash it a bit like that. Okay, four or five slashes. Just so the, the air comes come out. out. You've done this before. Well, right? I've watched. You're a cook. <laughs> I watch the Today Show all the time. Okay. <laughs> no, we've made you. We've made you that. You did little pie. cutouts here. I don't know, can we see? She made my little NBC Lester, so you can yeah. personalize these. And then, yes, like these ones. Right, a bit of an egg wash to make them glisten and be golden. Right. And that's going to make them nice and shiny like a... And you know, no one's going to arrest you if you use bought dough. Uh, uh, well, know? good, because I would be, I would be a felony <laughs> for me. And let's, let's look at the, t the, the finished product there, and you can see how it glistens. And quickly, before we go, show me what... So it's a chocolate loaf you've got over there for dessert? Quadruple, four See, I skipped right to dessert Chocolate here. loaf cake, 
Split pea soup with frankfurters, very right. good for the cold weather. And that's like a simpler version of that. So it's it's ham, peas, a bit of cream, cheese, I'm pasta. warmer already. Nice. Oh, good to see you. Thanks very much. Very Appreciate nice you coming by. Here. For more of these recipes, log on to our website today.msnbc.com.